Thank you for volunteering to be part of this exciting mosquito monitoring project. As a participant, you will make and set a mosquito egg collection trap, collect mosquito eggs, and send them to health authorities for analysis. By participating, you and all the other people across the country that are involved are contributing new knowledge about where disease-carrying mosquitoes live. This knowledge will be used to help prevent disease outbreaks. The kit contains a step-by-step -step guide to making a mosquito trap, a thin strip of paper marked with an A, a second wider piece of absorbent paper marked with a B, a paper clip, a chicken food pellet or some dry grass, a plastic bag, an information collection form, and an envelope in which to pack and return the mosquito eggs you will collect. To do this, you'll need a 1.5 to 2 litre container, a bucket or a large plastic soft drink bottle that can hold about 1 to 2 litres of water is perfect. Make sure it is clean. If using a bottle, carefully cut the top of the bottle off so there is a wide opening. Female domestic mosquitoes like dark places, so if your container is clear or light in colour, you'll need to place it in a dark bucket, such as a plant pot, so that it's in the shade. You can also paint or cover the outside of the container so that it's dark inside. Doing this will make the container more attractive to the mosquitoes. Next, take the thin strip of paper, marked with an A, and using the paper clip, attach it to the container so the paper hangs on the inside wall of the container and reaches the bottom. Place one food pellet, or if you haven't got the pellet, a small amount of dried grass, into the container and fill it to about three quarters full of water. If you're using a clear or light coloured container, put it into the dark pot. Now that you've made your trap, it's time to set it up. You should do this outside your house, close to the ground, in a position that is sheltered from the wind, rainfall and direct sunlight, and where it will not be knocked over or disturbed. Place the trap in areas likely to be favourable to mosquitoes. This includes relatively dark, cool, heavily shaded places. Once you've set your trap, leave it for three to seven days. Try not to disturb, refill or move the trap during this time. Mosquitoes will be attracted to the water. Female mosquitoes will lay eggs in the trap and these eggs will stick to the paper that is hanging in the water. Mosquito eggs are black and very small, less than one millimetre in size. They can be hard to see. After the collection period, remove the paper clip and carefully lift the wet paper strip, strip A, out of the container. Fold strip A once, then twice, and place it on the absorbent paper marked with the letter B. Then fold the strip and the blotting paper over so the eggs are safely encapsulated inside. Leave the paper dry out for 10 minutes, then carefully place the folded up pieces of paper into the plastic bag that was supplied. Next, fill in the information collection form. All that's left to do now is place the plastic bag with the folded up pieces of paper inside it and the information collection form into the return envelope, seal it and give it to your local coordinator. Your local coordinator will send your specimens, together with all the others collected, to a laboratory for analysis. If you provided your mobile phone number on the information collection form, the results of the analysis will be sent to you by text message. The results will also be provided to your local coordinator, who can pass them on to you. Analysis will take a few weeks. The results will also be sent to health and environment authorities. Through participation in this mosquito project, you are helping build scientific understanding that will protect you and your communities from diseases transmitted by mosquitoes. Thanks for participating.